Mary McKillop was born in Melbourne in 1842 to an impoverished family. That existence, many believe, led her to devote her life to helping the poor and eventually founding the Sisters of St. Joseph. But her life's work was not without its setbacks. She often found herself at odds with the priests and bishops, and that led to her excommunication. But her grace in the front of adversity also made her a champion for many Australians. I think that the Australians on the whole are a bit anti the authority, you know, and so they see her as standing up to the bishops and, um, you know, and in spite of being excommunicated by them, she won through in the end. Soon after, it was discovered that the accusations were false and she was reinstated. But Mary McKillop held no ill will towards them and her story remains relevant. She had a great uh, ability to forgive and she had great courage. And I think that's something that she can give to young people. The first step toward her canonization took place in 1995 when she was formally beatified by Pope John Paul II.